The development of science and culture during the Enlightenment in Europe in the 17th and 18th centuries. The Enlightenment period was an extremely significant era in the development of science, during which breakthrough discoveries and advancements occurred in many fields. During the Enlightenment, people began questioning religious dogmatism and adopting an approach based on reason and scientific observation. Many scholars made significant discoveries in mathematics and astronomy that changed how people perceived the world. One of the most important achievements was the development of the heliocentric theory by Nicholas Copernicus, who challenged the widely accepted geocentric model in which Earth was considered the centre of the solar system. Leonard Euler and Pierre-Simon Laplace, prominent mathematicians of this period, contributed to the development of mathematical analysis and celestial mechanics. The most important discovery in physics was undoubtedly the work of Isaac Newton, Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica. In his work, Newton formulated three laws of motion, which became the foundation of modern classical physics. His work on the gravity theory also significantly influenced science's development. A groundbreaking moment occurred in the field of chemistry during the Enlightenment. Antoine Lavoisier, known as the father of modern chemistry, formulated the basic laws of chemistry, including the law of conservation of mass and the oxygen theory of combustion. One of the most significant achievements in medicine during this period was the invention of the smallpox vaccine by Edward Jenner in 1796. It is interesting to note how Jenner discovered the vaccine. He observed that individuals working with cows infected with cowpox did not die after contracting smallpox, which was particularly dangerous. This led to experiments infecting people with cowpox, resulting in an effective vaccine against smallpox. In biology, a scientific classification of organisms was made, which was the work of Carolus Linnaeus. Linnaeus created the so-called binomial nomenclature system, which is still used in biology to classify organisms. It is also worth mentioning the emergence of the great French encyclopedia. This encyclopedia contained a wide range of knowledge, from scientific to philosophical topics, and its editors sought to convey knowledge in a way that was understandable to everyone, which was in the spirit of the Enlightenment. The Enlightenment was an incredibly fertile period in the development of science, during which many breakthrough discoveries were made. These discoveries largely contributed to shaping the modern view of the world and the scientific way of thinking. Enlightenment culture, classicism, the discovery of Pompeii in 1748, when the Spanish military engineer Roque Joaquin de Alcubierre accidentally stumbled upon the city's remains during construction work near Naples, profoundly impacted the development of Enlightenment culture. Pompeii was buried in volcanic ash after the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD. This discovery opened a window to the world of ancient Rome, which influenced the inspiration of many areas of culture and art. One key aspect of Pompeii's discovery's impact on Enlightenment culture was the development of a style called Classicism. Classicism refers to the aesthetics and values of classical Greek and Roman art. It was characterized by harmony, proportion, moderation, and refined form. Ancient sculpture and architecture, observed in the restored buildings and findings from Pompeii, inspired this style. One of the most important examples of Enlightenment architecture is the Palais Royal in Paris, completed in 1636. Cardinal Richelieu commissioned it and later rebuilt it in the neoclassical style. Other significant examples of this style include the Paris Pantheon and the Church of St. Charles Borromeo in Vienna, which use classical motifs, symmetry, and proportions to create a monumental and harmonious architectural composition. The neoclassical style was a reaction to the Rococo extravagance and eccentricity. It advocated a return to simplicity, harmony, and the idealization of ancient models. It was characterized by clarity of form, symmetry, and moderation. Thank you for being a part of our educational adventure. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new videos.